Hi folks, um, Kalani here again um, with um, Power Virtual Agent. So if you remember from our last um, videos, um, we showed how to build up the tree planner. And just to give you a bit of a sample of what we're trying to do today is we're trying to use variables for our own advantage. So what are variables? So variables are a way for you to store important information in your chatbot and possibly use that as a bit of customization or as a bit of context or remembrance. So to so test chatbot, all we just need to do is provide um, uh, a message. Um, so howdy. And this comes up to a bit of customization. Ask us for a name. And my name is Tarani. So I, I'm greeted with a couple of um, services um, this chatbot offers. So as you can see, um, it's using my name to customize or give me a, you know, a bit of human kind of almost human interaction because we tend to call other people's names. But the problem is um, if I go into into quotes, for example, I start losing a bit of the human touch a bit because um, it's asking me, you know, where, where are you departing from? It's just going a bit generic. So it's a different thing if it was telling me to where are you departing from, Tarani. So I want to, you know, Give you that kind of flavor of how to customize this so we do have different topics we've created in the past so we have quotes we have um we have supported currencies we have the supported currencies and we have ask a question but our greeting houses a lot of the information here so if you go into the authoring canvas um from our greeting you can see from here we're asking a lot of questions and um, from here, we can actually go into the username. Username is where we store our name. So as you can see, this is limited to the topic. So what we want to do is make sure it's available to the bot. We can save these um, functionality as well. Since this is already exposed as a global variable or, you know, or a bot level variable, you can see this has changed to bot.username as opposed to username before. Go back into our other topics as well, go into quotes as well. And from quote, we can start going into the authoring canvas. So from the authoring canvas, we can go into um, ask a question. And from there, we can insert that variable. That variable becomes available to us. I'm going to save this as well. And we're going to perform the same action for the other, um, for the other topics we've created. supported currency, go into authoring canvas. Um, we're going to change this text and say, um, we support major um, currencies, including USD, Euro, and GBP. Would you like a full listing? Then we can also insert the um, the name here, and um, we can save this. So at this point, we can refresh. So we have a customized bot at this point. We can go, hi, uh, what is your name, Colony? Um, let's go into ask question. So from ask question, you can see I'm listening colony. So these are examples of how to use um, variables at the bot level. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do subscribe to my channel for more videos on um, on Power Virtual Agent. Apologies, my video is a bit, um, my video, my video quality is not as great as I want it to be. But do subscribe to my channel and let me know your thoughts in the description below.